0312. Parish President Remarks Report, Mr. Jewell. Thank you, Chairman Gibbs. Uh, start with the COVID update, 1,968 cases and 63 deaths related to COVID-19. Uh, we continue to trend in the right direction, and I encourage all residents to continue to follow CDC guidelines and recommendations, especially as we enter the flu season. Governor Edwards' Phase 3 executive order will continue through Friday, November 6th. And that's when we'll get our update on what will happen next, either a continuation or move to a different phase. Uh, Hurricane Zeta. Uh, so for the sixth time this year, we've activated our EOC for a hurricane or, or a storm. This time was Zeta. The storm quickly strengthened prior to making landfall Wednesday as a Category 2 storm and was only one mile per hour short of the Category 3. So 110 mile an hour at landfall, 111 is a Category 3. Immediately following the storm, public works crews were out clearing debris uh, from roadways and worked uh, when we're joined by deputies from uh, Sheriff Greg Champagne's office uh, and the fire department as well to help clear roads. Uh, and collectively, um, they had most of our roadways cleared before Thursday morning. Remaining closures were largely due to down power lines or entanglements, uh, which we cannot, uh, uh, for obvious reasons, put our hands on. Over 75% of the parish lost power due to the high winds of Hurricane Zeta, and emergency crews from Intergy began uh, assessing Wednesday evening into Thursday, uh, into Thursday morning. Uh, their crews made great strides over the week uh, and the weekend and restored nearly 99% of the parish by yesterday evening. Over the next few days, residents could experience some power outages as there are some parts of the parish that they'll have to, you know, there's power going to these, to these areas now, but there's, there's some weak points that they're going to they're gonna replace as we go on. So your power may turn off. And turn back on, but they're just continuing to fix uh, the grid. Um, throughout the past five days, I've been in constant communication with Intergy uh, to ensure our residents and our businesses uh, get restored. I know that the, the last few days have been inconvenient. We're very lucky to ha have had great weather uh, during this. I think it would have been a much worse time if it were 95 degrees out, um, but obviously it felt good. Residents could open their windows. Uh, but again, we appreciate all of our, our residents' uh, patience, um, and, and we thank Intergy for working to get that power restored. As of today, I think we're the parish that is the closest out of all of Southeast Louisiana to having uh, nearly every customer restored. Um, so, and I'd also like to thank my staff, including Public Works, Water Works, Wastewater Recreation, Planning and Zoning, Risk Management, and the EOC, who all help respond to this storm. And uh, again, a special thanks to the sheriff's office, the fire service, EMS, and all other emergency managers as they, as the recovery process has been truly a team effort. I consider our parish blessed to not have uh, experienced worse damage, um, and was a little surprised at the amount of damage we had on the on the good side of, of a fast moving uh, category two. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank all of the linemen from Intergy, both in state and out of state. Um, their jobs are dangerous, and many of them spent very long, uh, long days and long nights away from their families, uh, some who were out without power themselves. So, again, thank you for those folks. Tomorrow's Election Day, and I thank, and a special thanks to all the work um, that the linemen, again, did to uh, help restore all of our polling locations. Uh, that was one of the main priorities as we were working through the weekend was to ensure uh, that the polling locations had power. If you've been paying attention, Orleans and, and Jefferson had to make some contingency plans to uh, put power at some of their polling locations. We were preparing those plans as well. Luckily, we did not have to implement them. And I had a great conversation this morning here at the courthouse with the Secretary of State who came stop by to visit um, uh, uh, Lance, uh, Clerk of Court Lance Marino and Registrar Voter uh, Brian Champagne. Um, so again, tomorrow's election day, make sure to vote. Um, and then later this week on Thursday, uh, myself and Sheriff Champagne will host this year's Veterans Day luncheon at the community center. Uh, so we are encouraging all of our residents who are veterans and their spouses to come and attend. Um, we have a, a system to get tickets as required by COVID-19, but we are not going to be turning any, anybody away. So if you come to the community center and you don't have a ticket, don't worry about it. You're going to get in. We're going to feed you. We're going to have a great program. 
uh, and we look forward to hopefully our council members, if they're able to attend, to attend as well. Um, uh, and again, this luncheon is at 11 a.m. at the community center, and again, veterans of all ages are welcome to attend. Job openings, we currently are looking for a carpenter. Additionally, we are looking to update our new job board feature uh, for employment opportunities with local, pri local private-owned businesses. Uh, so if you have a business, let's get, uh, get in touch with uh, Corey Fauche's office in ac economic development to um, get your job posting up. And that website, as always, is www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash scpworks. And that's it for my report. Thank you, Parish President Jewell.